West Nile virus is an arthropod-borne virus, so it's transmitted by the bites of infected mosquitoes, and it normally maintains a cycle between birds and mosquitoes in the wild. Typically what happens is in areas where there's a, a lot of water and mosquitoes breeding uh, and birds also nesting, you see that the mosquitoes uh, will end up biting birds, infecting them for a period, and then fresh mosquitoes that are uninfected will bite these birds and infect fresh birds and the cycle will be maintained. Most of this occurs in forests and out of the scope of human habitation. Mostly it's only bird to mosquito to bird to mosquito. These mosquitoes uh, of the Kulex genus, they prefer to bite birds and so it's only very rare instances it'll bite humans and uh, the virus uh, spread within the human body is not enough to then be transmitted by another mosquito. Well, it's important to remember that this is a very rare infection in humans, extremely rare actually, and uh, the severe cases are rarer still. So as I think I mentioned earlier, less than 1% uh, end up getting severe complications. Here in the Gay Lab, we research how the body fights against these viruses. Firstly, recognizing that the body's been infected with the virus, and then what kind of immune response it can be mounted against it. Uh, what I research most specifically myself is how the virus is able to jam this signal and prevent the signal from spreading and so overcome the host defences. Hopefully eventually we can target exactly how the virus is blocking these signals and prevent that from occurring, maybe create a small drug that will basically support the immune system as it fights off the virus and prevent the virus from blocking that.